Hi, this is Kathy for Trust by Death, and today we have a topic of how has sex changed since you have transitioned. This topic is very uncomfortable for me to discuss, and I had thought initially when I read the topic that I would just skip this week, and then I decided after having thought about it for a while that maybe some of my comments would help other people. To start out my discussion, I want to first tell everyone that I belong to a church where it is not appropriate to have sexual relationships outside of marriage and before marriage. So having random sexual encounters is not something that I do. To talk about my feelings of sex before marriage, I have to go back to when I was 12 and 13 and I was taking counseling uh, when I first told my mother, or the second time I told my mother that I was transgender and that I was a girl. The counselor spent an entire session at one point talking about sex and the fact that if I transitioned to be a girl, I would have violated and would have committed sodomy. Now the definition of sodomy is two men or man and woman having anal sex. And he explained to me at that time at age 12 that that was against the uh, Mosaic law, against the Ten Commandments, and you can read those in Exodus, and also that thou shall not commit adultery. And he said, you would be uh, breaking both of those commandments and that would not be good. And he said, and you know what ha would happen or what happened to the city of Sodom and Gomorrah when they violated these commandments? They were destroyed and you would be destroyed by doing that. I think that single uh, session with that therapist or that gender therapist when I was uh, either late 12 or early 13 had a very profound effect on my view of sex and marriage and a lot of things that were associated with it. I think that particular comment uh, probably scarred me for my entire life. When I met my wife uh, we did not have sex before we were married. Uh, we kept the, the covenants and promises that we needed to go to the temple of not having sex before we were married. And so I have no uh, experience of marriage, of sex outside of marriage. After we married was when the promise began. Every time I went to have sex with my wife, I felt like things were not right. I was not a good sex partner to my wife, either on our wedding night or any time after that. And that created a lot of problems. I always tried to have sex as my, when my wife required it, but I was not sexually active, with only when need, needed to be. Uh, this also goes back to when I was in my teen years. Uh, I felt very uncomfortable going out with either boy or girl. I didn't feel comfortable asking the girls out, and I didn't feel comfortable around the boys and so I just re, uh, withdrew and I think I did the same thing in my marriage. I had sex when my wife wanted me to have sex but I always had to be prompted and prodded and it was regular uh, sex that all married couples would have. As time went on the sex decreased in our marriage more and more and more until by the time we were in our 50s, uh, we weren't having very much sex at all. And I'm convinced that the fact that we, this dysfunction or dysphoria that I had associated with sex, uh, prevented me from being able to get my wife pregnant. I was always nervous and uneasy and uh, never did deliver the way I should have done. And I think that that is a 
major drawback in our marriage. When I finally, in my late 50s, I told my wife I wanted to transgender and started on HRT, one of the big pluses that I noticed with HRT, it dropped and got rid of all of my dysphoria about having sex and uh, decreased the size of a male genital and made it almost impossible for me to have any kind of erection. So that uh, is one of what I would consider the big pluses of my transition. However, it does not really fit uh, with the topic of how has sex changed because after transition and after being on HRT for three months, uh, I had no desire to have uh, vaginal sex or anal sex or sex with anybody. And that relieved me so much of that dysphoria associated with uh, sex in my life that to me that has been one of the pluses of transition. I have solved that problem. But I'm not sure I've solved the problem in the best way. Uh, I think it's still an issue between me and my wife. Uh, there are times when she would still like to have sex and there's no way that I can now. Those are my comments that I have on sex. The major points I would like to make is that I feel that at age 12 and 13, the gender therapist that I was attending or going to as a young boy really scarred my personality over a period of time by uh, telling me that I would be guilty of, of sodomy at that age and even if I got older I would still be guilty of sodomy. That really bothered me a great deal and still bothers me. I intend to keep the, the commandment that thou shalt not commit adultery. I will not have sex with anyone except for my wife and I will only have sex in the normal way. And that has been my motto for the entire time that I've been married. Well, those are my thoughts for today. I know this is very contrary to the, the uh, intent of the question, but it is the way I feel. And I hope to see you again next week. Bye.